Well, the state of the world today, I believe, is unimaginably better than the state of the world 100 years ago. We've seen the poor catch up with the rich in terms of access to water, in terms of access to education, in terms of longevity. But there are still horrendous inequalities in the world. The rate in which we're developing is increasing at an exponential curve. We are bumping up against certain environmental limits. Everybody's trying to get out something without putting something back. You can't reap where you don't sow. Historically, it's been the Western countries that are producing all the emissions levels, and we are living a, a very nice lifestyle on the back of that, whereas the negative impacts are being felt generally by those in the developing world. We are coming up against a crunch point, and what we need to do is provide a vision of a future that we can all live in. What we've done in the past hasn't really been working, and we need to find ways that we can improve the lives of everyone without moving everyone towards industrialization. People need to develop wherever they are. We're not necessarily all going to develop in the same way. Not everyone's going to have the same standard of life that we have here. We need to make a decision of how we're going to move forward. Sustainable development is a very broad and contested term, but at its core is this notion of balance. Balance between economic growth, social development, and environmental sustainability. When I was thinking about what I could do personally, I thought, oh, well, try and show loads of films to people and then that evolved into the idea of hosting a film festival in the university. It's a great way to communicate environmental issues to people on their terms. In 2002 we embarked on a project of three power stations. Together these generate 80% of our power requirements on campus and instead of throwing the heat away we're capturing that heat and using it to heat the buildings. If we don't adopt more sustainable strategies in the future. We'll just have more of the same development and I'm very concerned with how scientific knowledge and technological development can improve the lives of people but also can actually adversely impact their lives. It's absolutely the time now to be really thinking about these things and really taking action to address them. One of the challenges for sustainable development is that it slips into this very easy utopian view that you know if only we're all nice to the environment then we'll have a sustainable future. Some of the more underlying challenges are uh, not so much scientific but I think political, economic and social. The economic policies that we've been following for the last 30 years I think are fundamentally flawed. Uh, this idea that we can continue to, to, to grow, that there's always more stuff out the back that we can, that, that we can use um, is, is, is based on a fiction. So if you really want to get people to change, there's a lot of elements that, that you have to bring into this. If you scare people into change, it doesn't work out that they'll actually take the changes and take the next steps. Trying to encourage behavioral change, while one of the most challenging, is also probably going to be one of the most productive ways. We want to broaden the study of development to include the full range of agents of development. So while we can talk about the grassroots and talk about the local level, we also need to think about the big, powerful, international, global level. You need to have an understanding of regulatory systems, of, of politics, of the economics, the business behind it. You need an understanding of social behaviour. You need an understanding of the science behind or the engineering behind these issues. So it's really about creating a dialogue uh, and getting people with diverse backgrounds in that dialogue so that we can create meaningful discourse and then design practical projects that actually end up doing things. You actually need to pull all of these into one place and that to me is what this MA can achieve. We're at the forefront of academic research on sustainable development and Edinburgh is absolutely about sharing that research with students, getting students involved with cutting edge work that's being done, looking at sustainable development from a range of different disciplines, looking at a range of different topics. The university has been uh, at the centre of so many turning points in science and technology, humanities, ph philosophy um, and today we're seeing it become more and more of a, an international crossroads for, for students. What we can do to address sustainable development is inspire the next generation of students who go on to tackle these really important issues. And it's this whole package that Edinburgh has to offer between the arts and humanities, social sciences and physical and medical sciences that really make this the perfect place to study sustainability. And I think this is a, a great opportunity for students to come to what is a, a wonderful town, uh, a, a wonderful university and contribute to what is the most important debate of our time.